to your subscribers hamster cages video is all I've heard recently from people a lot of people want me to do this video wasn't gonna do this video because I don't like hurting people's feelings and I just I don't want to upset anybody so if anybody gets upset from my criticism today I am going to put the blame on the people who wanted this video it's not me <laughs> don't blame me blame the people who wanted this video before we do get started with the video I did want to show you guys a product that I was sent recently by snow flying ink they sent me this adorable I hope you can see this adorable hamster blanket so it's absolutely just it's, it's so cute like look so if you're interested in getting one I'll leave the link down in the description bar but they basically just wanted me to show it to you guys and it's absolutely adorable I love it so I asked you guys on Instagram to send me pictures of your guys' hamster cages and to tell me what the measurements were, what type of hamster lives in the cage, and I am going to give my criticism and some feedback on your cages. This is in no way meant to put anybody down, it is just trying to help others with their hamster care and what things they can improve on. As well as I want you guys to keep in mind the bare minimum is 450 square inches of floor space so anything below that is not suitable. So the first cage we have here is a Savic Hamster Heaven and the measurements add up to 620 square inches of floor space and their Syrian lives in this cage. So this is a good sized cage, I do like that. Some issues that I'm having is that the two wheels, I'm not sure how big the green wheel is but the flying saucer doesn't look like it is the right size so I'm not sure if flying saucer actually makes an 8 inch flying saucer but even with a flying saucer they can actually end up curving their back and it can cause back problems as well so you also need to make sure the flying saucer for your hamster is the appropriate size generally for a Syrian I would say a 12 inch flying saucer would be the best size Another thing I want to add is that with the Savic Hamster Heaven Cage, they have all of these levels and they kind of seem to take up a lot of space so you're not actually able to put a ton of hides and tubes and toys so possibly taking one of those levels out could allow you to put in more toys for your hamster to be enriched with. So the next cage we have here is a All Living Things Hamster Starter Kit from PetSmart and their Syrian hamster is living in it. Now this cage only has 192 square inches of floor space so that is under the bare minimum. I also do want to point out that the silent spinner you have in there because the cage is um, small you aren't going to be able to put a properly sized wheel in there so I do think that is a 6.5 inch silent spinner which sadly is too small for a Syrian and it can cause them to have back problems because the wheel is just too small that they're not able to actually properly run on it and it bends their back. So I definitely would upgrade your cage. You do want something that's 450 square inches of floor space. Bin cages are a great alternative. They're cheap and quite easy to make um, or tanks are great as well. Um, but definitely upgrade your cage and your wheel. But Peanut is an absolutely adorable Syrian hamster. So this cage right here is a DIY cage that they've made for their Russian Campbell's Dwarf hamster and it is quite large. I think that's about 800 square inches of floor space. Um, I think they've done a really great job. Love that you have a very large cage as well as you have a nice sized wheel. I do think I would add in some more bedding for your hamster to burrow in as well as maybe give a bigger sand bath. I think you have a sand bath in there, yeah. I think it's just a little dish. I would probably give maybe a bigger sand bath. But I think you have done quite a good job at keeping the cage quite full with different things to do um, with the tubes and hideouts. I think your cage is looking pretty good. The next cage we have here, they said the bottom cage is 266 square inches of floor space and they're not sure how big the top cage is and they have a Syrian living in this cage. I do have to point out that attaching two small cages together just isn't the same as having one large cage 
when you connect a bunch of small cages together, especially if you're connecting them vertically, it is creating broken floor space. So it doesn't provide the hamster the floor space to actually run and do its natural behaviors. Because it also is vertically stacked, it is giving your hamster more height than floor space. And when it comes to hamsters, they're not the best climbers. They're not like rats or chinchillas. They really don't need that height and levels to climb on. That floor space is really, really important for them. So I would recommend having at least one cage that meets the bare minimum of 450 square inches of floor space before connecting any other cages. Bin cages are great. They can be easy to find, fairly cheap, fairly easy to make. So I would probably suggest upgrading your cage if you can. So the next cage here is a Skyline Barney Pet Cage from Zooplus. They have a Syrian in here and the cage is a good size, I do like that. And they've also said they've added a dig box as the cage only has a 6 inch deep base and it's too shallow for their liking. So I do like the cage, I think it is a good size, I do like all of the stuff you've provided as well as I like that you've decided to add a dig box for them, one that is fairly large. The only issue with that that I would change is that I see you put a sand bath in there and I think some other kind of platform type things. I would switch those out for a hideout instead. Most hamsters don't like to just randomly burrow in bedding. They like to burrow where their hideout is and where they're going to sleep. So it might help by putting a hideout instead so they can burrow in there and they might use it a bit more. So the next cage we have here is a bin cage and they have a Syrian hamster living in it and they said their measurements are 410 square inches of floor space. Now keep in mind 450 square inches is the absolute bare minimum for a hamster. Um, so you are going to want to upgrade your bin cage eventually. Um, sooner is better than later. As well as I do notice you have a silent spinner in there and from the looks of it I think that is the 6.5 inch. I know you said your Syrian is a baby Syrian but eventually they are going to outgrow that wheel and the wheel will start to cause back problems and it can be very uncomfortable for them to try and run in something that is too small for them. So you are definitely going to want to upgrade their wheel to at least an 8 inch wheel. So this cage here is an aquarium with DIY glass platforms, which I find this really interesting. Um, they have one Russian dwarf hamster that lives in it and it is 460 square inches of floor space. So I actually really like your cage. I think the platforms in it are really, really cool um, and kind of gives your hamster some things to do. One suggestion I probably would make is to add more bedding in there. It kind of looks like you have a little bit more at the back of the aquarium, but you probably could get away with putting a lot more bedding if you move your silent spinner to that third platform and then you could fill it up a lot higher, I think, with bedding. I think another cool idea as well is I see that you have a sand bath dish on one of the platforms, but honestly, if you could just fill one of the platforms with sand, I think that would be really cool as well. So this next cage is an Ikea Detoff um, they have for their female Syrian. I don't think I have much complaints about this cage. I really enjoy your setup. I love the amount of bedding you've given your hamster. Um, you have a sand bath in there. You have a nice large wheel. You've also put an underground hiding spot for your hamster. So I think this cage really is great. I also think your hamster is very adorable and I say good job. So the next cage we have here is a Pets at Home large hamster cage. They didn't leave the measurements, so I went ahead and looked it up myself, and it comes to 314 square inches of floor space, and they have a Syrian hamster named Luna living in here. I do want to point out as the first thing, the cage sadly is too small. I know Pets at Home labels it as a extra large or large hamster cage. It sadly isn't. 450 square inches is the bare minimum for a hamster and for a Syrian, I definitely would actually recommend even larger um, than that. So you definitely are going to want to upgrade your hamster's cage as well as the wheel. I think that is the one that comes with it. I'm not sure what size it is now. 
it does kind of look like it might be a six inch or seven inch wheel which sadly would not be big enough for a Syrian they need a bare minimum of an eight inch wheel or else they can actually start to curve their back and they can have back issues as well as it can get uncomfortable for them to run and a lot of the times when the wheel is too small a hamster will just stop using it altogether. but i do like the toys that you've included into the cage so the next cage is very interesting they have two siren hamsters and they've split this cage in half this kind of looks like a rat or a chinchilla cage so I do like, of course, that they've split it in half because they don't want their Syrians fighting. I do like that they both have 12 inch silent spinners. Those are awesome. My one critique I would have to say is that I see that you've added old cage bases so that you can put bedding in there for them, but even those are only like two or three inches tall. So they actually would not be suitable enough for your hamster to actually be able to burrow. And I really suggest having the entire cage have bedding. So a way to solve that, because it is a barred cage, you can buy a coroplast, you can usually buy it for fairly cheap, and you can make a nicely sized base, and you can make the sides as tall as you want, so you can put as much bedding as you'd like, and I think that can solve that issue fairly simply and fairly cheaply. Um, and then you can give your hamsters a bit more accessories in there as well. So the next cage we have here is an aquarium, it's 55 gallons, and they have their long-haired Syrian living in it. I do really like the size of the cage, I think that's great, as well it looks like you have an 8 inch wheel, that's also really great. So something that I would personally recommend is to fill the cage up more with more accessories, put more tubes, different bridges, hideouts, and things like that. Generally hamsters like a semi-crowded cage rather than one that is quite empty. If you are on a budget, you can easily make things out of popsicle sticks or cardboard boxes. Those can make really great like hideouts and you can connect a bunch of them together. You can be really creative with it and still not spend a ton of money. Um, and I would also maybe add in a bit more bedding. So the next cage we have here is for a Syrian hamster. And they said the cage length is about 20 inches and the height is 15 inches. I would also need the width to figure out the square inches. Based on looking at the pictures, I am going to say it looks quite small. So I definitely would recommend upgrading your hamster's cage as well as it does look like you have a 6.5 inch silent spinner in there. Once again, this wheel just isn't suitable for Syrians. You are going to need to have an eight inch wheel. Another thing that I would just add is a bit more bedding because hamsters are burrowers. So they do need to have five to six inches of bedding so that they can at least burrow properly. So this next cage here is two bin cages connected for one Chinese hamster and each bin does meet the bare minimum. So that is great. I do like that you have two wheels in each bin, so something that I would actually change is I would take out one of the wheels, I probably would take out the silent spinner because I think that is the smaller wheel, and I would move the sand bath into the other bin, and then the one bin I would actually put a ton of bedding, so make it kind of like a burrowing bin for your hamster, and then you could put some chews and maybe some tunnels in there, and I think that would be a really fun idea for your hamster. So these next two cages are for two different hamsters. So the first cage is for their Syrian hamster who lives in a Habitrail OVO and a Habitrail Crystal. Um, and then their second Syrian hamster lives in a 110 quart bin. So I do like that your uh, hamster Sushi lives in a 110 quart bin. I think that is great. You've put in a nice big wheel as well as some different hideouts and things like that. I think that cage is great. For your hamster pancake though, I do have to say attaching a Habitrail Crystal and a Habitrail OVO, it is too small for a Syrian and I would actually go ahead and get another 110 quart bin and make that for pancake instead. That was a lot of cages and I am very tired. My voice is so sore from talking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope nobody is upset by any of the comments that I've made. Um, Maybe we'll do this again. I'm not sure this was a, a lot of work to do, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. See ya guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.